everybody, this is Rob James from Mirasouls here to talk about the song Rocket Man and the quote that inspired us to cover the song. Rocket Man was written by Elton John and Bernie Taupin, and I don't know what Bernie had in mind exactly when he wrote those lyrics, but my own interpretation ties to a quote that I love from Justine Musk, who's Elon Musk's ex-wife, and it goes, extreme success comes from extreme personalities and comes at the price of many other things. And it's a classic tale in my mind about how obsessing over extreme outcomes, and certainly an astronaut fits in that bucket, always comes at the price of other things in your life. This concept could apply to just about anything, CEOs or you know any high-end job, but I actually think that it transcends necessarily the accomplishment itself of being an astronaut or a CEO, I think it could apply equally to anybody obsessing about anything, whether it's um, learning to be a puppeteer for kids' parties or whatever. If you're obsessed about something and you're spending all of your headspace and time on that pursuit, um, then those types of extreme obsessive behaviors are going to have extreme consequences and really nobody gets away uh, scot-free. Um, for pursuing those types of obsessions. One of the verses in the song, uh, Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kids. In fact, it's cold as hell, and there'd be no one there to raise them if you did. Um, it's an interesting metaphor in my mind of um, how lonely that can be, and that even if you're physically present, um, but you're obsessed by uh, your goals, whether that's uh, you know being a CEO or whatever, it's not enough to just be present and physically, um, you have to be emotionally present. And I think that's what that's trying to say is that even if he took his kids with him to Mars in that metaphor, um, you know, there'd be no one there actually raising them. They'd, they'd be focused on, you know, walking the surface of Mars. And so I think that applies across the board. And that's one of the great common themes you hear in people that are working so hard or trying to achieve incredible goals and certainly um, music's like that um, comes at that price even if you're physically there you tend not to be present um, and it's a it can be a very lonely uh, a way of going about things it's kind of interesting at the time I tied the quote um, from Justine Musk to this I actually hadn't connected the dots that uh, um, Elon's actually trying to build rockets and this is coming from his ex-wife, which is kind of rich. Of course, she's, uh, he, he must be one of the most obsessive, you know, um, distracted guys on the planet. And uh, who would know better the consequences of an extreme personality and drive than the ex-wife of someone like Elon Musk? And then as a bonus, it's, he's actually pursuing his, his, his ultimate vision of, uh, of space travel and, and rockets and so forth. So that's actually a coincidence, but it was kind of cool when I realized I just liked the quote and I thought yeah, I tied in here and resonated with me but uh, kind of funny how it uh, came together it made it kind of cosmic and then I knew for sure uh, I wanted to go with that quote and uh, we wanted to cover Rocket Man. Um, Rocket Man's interesting it uses a, a sort of motif that I've used in, in other Mirasol songs where the verses are very minor um, kind of dark and sparse and that's where it tends to talk about the cost um, the impact uh, to his family and so forth and then when the sort of bridge chorus comes along um, it's all major and it's it's more uplifting where he's I think he's talking more about um, the positive sides of it the amazing accomplishments and the, the glory if you will of uh, his, his outcome and his choice so you have this very interesting sweet and sour um, element where the verses are about the cost in my view in the in the chorus is about the benefits or the results the outcomes um, that happen and that's something uh, that really resonates with me and I think we try to emulate those kinds of dynamics in the songs that we write um, for mere souls in general well, that concludes our deep dive on the song rocket man 
love to hear what you folks think about our interpretation or if you have an interpretation of your own, use the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and like it or subscribe to the channel. Thanks, everybody. Everything is gonna be a